Hi all, welcome to my little tearing blog. My microphone's not working, so hopefully you can still hear me quite clearly. But anyway, so now I've put all the linings in now on the jacket, so some of you will have been following me into this little world of bespoke jacket making. So all the linings in now. Now, I have to hand foul the hand stitch down here, the traditional way, and I've got two vents, you can see. It's called side vents. So I'm going to be hand stitching all down the side seams of the lining into the, the vents and also hand stitch all on across the bottom of the hems. This is the traditional bespoke way. Now, following on from this, the next stage will be, I'll just take it to the right side. You can see this now. So this is the one of the fronts. Oops, a daisy. There we go. So when you have fittings, you've got to remark. So this, this customer has got a dropped right shoulder. So I've had to drop the shoulder and I've got to, this is a black chalk mark. I've, got, I've had to bring in, scoop out the armhole a little bit to give it a more cleaning line because it was a bit excess there on the, on, on the front where his dropped shoulder was anyway. Then the next stage I will be doing, will be I'll be drafting the collar. So I'm just going to mark where my collar is going to sit and the seam line. Then I'm going to draft the collar accordingly to each jacket. And I do that for each customer. I, I actually draft a, co a collar out for each customer, individual collars out. Because no, no two customers are the same. You know, the neckline and, and the way the jacket is, the, sh the shape of them and also the measurement measurements as well so i always do an individual color so i will be doing a tutorial one of the days on how to draft bespoke color tailored color <laughs> got my my words all muddled up sorry about that anyway so there we have it so i'll just be doing the next stage is to actually make and draft i'm going to draft a color for this jacket and I would be doing a tutorial on that, so watch out for that tutorial. It's quite an interesting, and it's a very easy technique and method, which a great bespoke Savaro Tanner taught me this method. So, of course, as you know, whatever I learn from great tailors or pattern cutters, I give back to my students. So, as you know, what I will say next, I'll see you soon on my next outing, and ciao for now.